Motion Capture We've seen examples of this process in many different forms of media. We've seen it used to elevate performances in movies by capturing the emotions of actors. We've seen it used in video games to create an immersive experience for their players. For years, however, this kind of technology would be kept in places where the movie and video game industry were already big. But now, this technology has found its way here in Edmonton. And rolling. Funded by the Canada Foundation for Innovation, the Government of Alberta's Research Capacity Program, and Nate back in 2018, the studio came to be in 2020. We are in the motion capture lab. Uh, this is called the volume. And what occurs in the volume is, uh, Infrared lasers are effect effectively uh, reflecting off of markers, which are then going back to the cameras uh, for reconstruction. This 2,000 square feet studio is equipped with 20 infrared cameras pointed at a large square, props with dots all around them, and full body suits for actors to wear. But how does any of this produce what we've seen on our screens? Yeah, so uh, what's happening right now is we're uh, live streaming um, what's happening inside this motion capture volume on these markers to a, a game engine. So we're able to just kind of show, make the connection between uh, the actor and you know what potentially can happen in a virtual production. Skyler was initially based in Vancouver, working for multiple studios as an animator for seven years, but then moved to Edmonton for the opportunity to create the volume. It's a unique opportunity because the, the ecosystem here is still growing. Uh, it does have an ecosystem, so there are um, amazing companies that, that are here. Uh, however, I'm always trained for the underdog in a way, and here I am in Edmonton, and I'm just here to support this ecosystem and bring my talents here. And with that growing ecosystem, the studio here at Nate can be used by multiple companies and developers. But one in specific has itself locked in. Yeah, we the studio exists to service industry needs, so basically, uh, our, I guess our main client is uh, video game producers. Uh, motion capture is a novel technology and it's a fast technology to get your game animated. So that's why we exist essentially and it's not just for video game companies which you know we've serviced video game companies here in Alberta. But it's also uh, life sciences, you know we can facilitate um, the the uh, animation of uh, somebody's uh, walk cycle or whatever medical applications there are as well as sports performance and things of similar nature essentially. But developers aren't the only ones that can get the opportunity to use this technology. The students here at Nate may just get that lucky chance to use this. We, we put out a posting for a job and we have uh, where we, we offer the posting out to student level um, uh, students. Uh, to, to student level talent rather to, to, to apply for the position and as long as they qualify in terms of uh, the qualifications for the, for, the, for the position, you know, they're definitely considered. This studio allows aspiring developers to create what they envisioned. However, this process is not cheap. Yeah, I don't know the, the specifics on an estimate of a large project. However, I can say that a, a day, one, one day of filming in a large budget large uh, square footage and volume, actually volume footage, I'm not sure what that term would be called, but the square volume of the recording area, that would be, for one day, would be, you know, maybe twenty or thirty thousand dollars. But even with that high cost, Edmonton can still be a great place to start a production. Uh, the main drawing factor to start your, your production here is obviously the lower cost. So even without robust uh, tax credits that might not be available right now, the cost saving measures way uh, outweigh any savings you would have on a, on a tax credit. We hope to, to provide a solution for a lot of companies that are thinking about coming to Edmonton to start a, start a production, but they're not sure of the, the resources available to them. As these infrared cameras hit the marks on our bodies, our movements are perfectly captured onto a digital body thanks to the marks found around our suits. The studio also had a number of props which we played around with as well.
This motion capture studio presents the city of Edmonton and students with a unique opportunity to create content that can go toe to toe against those made worldwide, all in the comfort of their own city. Hey, that's a wrap. I'm Roy Navarro, video editor of the Nate Nugget, and thank you all for watching this video.